Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Space Engineers. I'm uh, just a uh, solar panel right now. I haven't stopped. Uh, I actually went ahead and changed my world, uh, my day cycle to 40 minutes instead of 30. And then what I did is I changed the rotor to uh, 0.025 rotation speed. So I'm hoping it's going to sync up because it was doing 0.33333 and it was falling behind. And after a few days in game, it was already backwards. Uh, yes, the battery's gone. I have been extremely busy. Uh, after the last episode, I decided, well, since I had that sh large grid ship that was relatively pretty good on fuel, I thought I'd throw some ore detectors on there, a couple of drills, and do some exploring. And guess what? Yes, I found uranium. And the funny thing about that was, it was a third asteroid I came across. Like, I just, third random rock I went and checked. And it was there. There's two deposits on that rock, and one of them's right on the surface. I could have found that with a small ship. Uh, there have been a few suggestions, and uh, one of them I'm actually going to take, take on is about the battery packs with the, the connector ports there. It was suggested I use the, the merge blocks, because they will uh, automatically connect and lock when they come in contact. So I may try that. Uh, there's another one I'm going to do, too. Uh, I have the battery pack with the, the moon base right now, because I put four speed upgrades on the refinery just to get that stuff processed. I had uh, 172 tons of ore, and I think I'm... About halfway through it and we got like a ton out of it I think this will be good we'll leave it right here so go ahead and turn this back on all right so it's at 0.25 and now what I want to do is I want to put one of these merge blocks on here Oop. Uh, also uh, it has been mentioned too that uh, the reason why the uh, ship has been sinking with the battery on it is the whole connected grid scenario and I'm, I'm aware of what what it is it's basically the ship that I'm lifting the battery is accounting for the ship's weight itself it's not accounting for the fact that it's got a 15 ton battery hanging off it or in this case however heavy that battery may be but as soon as I find the right block here I have thought about what I'm going to do about that or an idea now, I have been busy. I have been digging up holes all left, right, and center. And where is this block there is? Uh, in this moon, I have got a whole bunch of gold, silver. I have grabbed platinum. And I went ahead and I made enough to make ion thrusters. Because that's where we're going to start going here. Not there. There. And steel tubes, of course. So, yeah, that's... Uh, my idea with this god these textures are so weird sometimes it's almost like it doesn't line up but it does but uh, yeah, what was I saying oh yeah my idea was uh, just to put a couple of ion thrusters on and when I get into the cockpit and I fly it it should theoretically recognize it because it works as a connected grid. I might even have to put a merge block here and on top of the battery pack, or on top of the battery pack and under there. The only thing with putting a merge block under there is I won't be able to do what I'm doing right now, and I might be loading up storage, because as you can see, I have a green container, a big green container, that has a lot of expensive stuff in it. We got 4,000 reactor parts. That's for two large reactors on the, the ship we're going to build today. Uh, I've been thinking about the idea I want to do, want to do on this. Uh, I want to try to get a little creative and kind of fancy if I can. Uh, I also want to try to get another reactor here at least. And as far as our destination today, I actually want to try to get to Mars. Uh, whether or not I can find it, like, that's, I don't think is Mars. It could be. It's hard to say, but that could be Mars. But I know that there's... Uh, Three different moons. There's this one here, the Earth-like moon, which is around the Earth-like planet. Then there's supposed to be Europa and Titan. Uh, that, I know, is the alien planet. This, as far as I know, there's only three planets, so that must be Mars. But why is it purple? Unless it's got something to do with the atmosphere. I don't know. We'll probably go jump there and find out. Uh, but, yeah, what was I doing next? I was... I was going to go put some atmospheric thrusters on here. Not atmospheric. Uh, ion thrusters. Now, I know that we're on the moon. Technically, from what I've read, that ion thrusters are affected by 
gravity and not so much atmosphere, which is fine because we have very little gravity here and we just need something to help it and uh, help it lift off the ground. So I need those, those, and I have no idea what else I need. I need a large tube. So let me figure out my inventory and I'll be right back. Okay, I had to do a bit of a suit recharge too. So basically what I'm thinking is one thruster there, one thruster here. And in theory, when I grab it with the ship, the ship should actually control these. They aren't on, are they? They are. I'm going to actually turn them off. I don't think they're actually using any power, but just in case. That's what I like about these terminals. Okay, ion thrusters. Those there. Turn those off. And now... Now I grab the ship. Because I want to take this back over the charger. And see how it holds up. Yeah, those uh, that refiner is using almost three megawatts right now. Unbelievable! Just crazy the amount of power they use. I had to put more solar panels on too because I was running a bit dry. All right, so let's uh, get in the habit of actually using the proper hotkey for that that connector. So I don't think it really matters wh which way. Oop. That's what I don't like about that camera. Sometimes is you got to realign with your targeting reticle. Or your crosshairs, or whatever you want to call it. Okay, let's try this again. So if I go over here, I'm going to just talk to it. Now, I shouldn't need a gyro or anything, and that's the wrong spot. And that should be it right. There we go. We'll uh, lock to you. We will unlock that. Okay, and then I'm going to try to get up a little bit. So you're gonna get in here. Uh, control panel. Let's turn those on. And there we go. That solves my problem. As you can see, I am no longer descending. I am staying perfectly level, and that's because those thrusters are actually helping out. Problem solved. I was originally thinking about how I was going to do it, but uh, you know, using hydrogen wouldn't have been, wouldn't have been the best because then I have to be have a, have a tank on here. Well, since it's a giant battery pack, I'll also put some ion thrusters on there. So now we got to go and get this over here. We got to put a merge block on the bottom of this thing. And I'm actually glad I put this solar panel up as high as I did, because at least I have room to work underneath. Yeah, so now we go down here, and I guess, like I said, I gotta put a merge block on this thing. I gotta finish up the other merge block. So far, the panel looks like it's tracking properly. I'm sure I could probably even use some sort of sensor block or something to figure it out properly. Okay, now this isn't gonna go anywhere, I hope. Let's find out. <laughs> Make this quick. Alright, put one there, and go back over here. Take this off. Try not to get burned by the exhaust. I don't know if that's an actual thing, but you never know. It may not be, but with me, it could end up being. And we have drift. And I do believe that it's that is due to counterbalancing of weight. Maybe his center mass is off just slightly, so uh, these thrusters, because there's no left and no. Uh, left horizontal type of velocity thing of a bobber, you know what I mean. Anyway, let's uh, see if we can get this worked out. The question about these merge blocks, do they have to be perfectly lined up square, or can they just be on an angle? I ask these questions because I have no idea. It's all new to me. Yeah, it definitely wants to lean a little bit. But I was told they should connect automatically if they have power. Helps if I'm lined up properly. <laughs> Always. Did it work? It did. Well, thank you. Uh, I believe it was I'm not going to say in case you get name wrong. Actually, hang on. I almost thanked the wrong person. Thank you, Lonnie, for suggesting that. That was a great idea. 
And the best thing is it lines up proper too, because uh, when I brought it over there, it sort of docked like this. So, yeah, I'll probably leave this like this just so I can use that over there. But that's definitely works because it almost looks like it's a plug too, and it seems to it seems to actually line up properly on the grid. So it sort of rearranges itself. All right, that is good. Now I just gotta go back in here and set those charge. Okay, we'll go there and recharge. All right, now we can let go of that and head back to the base. Because now we go and fill up. Because we're going to go and build a big ship out in space. So it is going to take me a minute to take care of this. Uh, yeah, I was having gravel issues. Those reactor components, you need gravel for them. And I haven't had as much stone as I thought I did. But anyways, I'm going to load up and uh, I'll meet you up in space when I find a nice asteroid to uh, use as my building platform. Well, once again, I'm having power problems here. So since I do have enough reactor components, I'm actually out of gravel to do anything else. I may as well set up a small little reactor somewhere. And we'll just put it right in the corner next to my bed. Somewhere safe, right? Like so. And I just realized that was a bad place to put it. No, okay, it's got a connector on this side here. Alright. Really? I unlocked something new? That's a shocker. Okay, where is my uranium? There it is. 1200 units, or 1200 kilos. Okay, now I'll just put a little bit in here. Maybe 20 or something. I have no idea how long that's going to last. Not very long, apparently. Alright, I'll stick another hundred in there. Uh, I do have some refining right now, so it should be... Should be okay. That still leaves me with over a ton, so hopefully that's gonna work out to my advantage. We'll find out. But I am ready to go, so let us hop in. I have pretty much everything in the base on my ship right now that I've produced. Uh, speaking of which, the, the hydro refinery actually saved me. I, uh, let me turn dabbing off. I was in the cryopod sort of AFK and I ran out of power. Needless to say, I died. I couldn't respawn back here because the survival kit was out of power. Fortunately, the big orange, big thing with the or big orange arm there has a survival kit. That saved my life. That saved me a long trip from coming all the way back from the planet here. I probably would have either respawn back at the station 240 kilometers away or on the planet 270 kilometers away or something like that. Okay, we are off in, uh, out in space. Now let's find a good place to, to set up shop. Hmm. I'm going to look around. I will be right back. Okay, this looks like a good place. Uh, if you're wondering why I chose to come up here and build it, not down on the moon, uh, mainly this it's going to be all atmospheric thrusters. It's going to be it's going to be big, and I'm not going to be having too many thrusters on it, so it's going to be a space only vehicle, more or less. I know again the moon's not that bad. I could probably get up, get off the moon, but I figure I may as well go here and I'm going to park my ship just in case. Not that anything's going to happen to it, but just in case. Another reason why I'm doing it this way, and instead of just trying to build it free in space, is in case it starts drifting on me. So I'm not running back and forth further and further away, at least I know it's going to be here. And fortunately, with a larger inventory, I got a lot less trips back and forth between the ship and the ship and building. And I am... Not good at parking. Of course not. Can you grab, please? Thank you. Alright, let's start building. So, let's see here. Now, I've been sort of trying to think of the way I want to have this built. Uh, we're going to go ahead and, first of all, set up my hot bar. Okay, so I'm going to start out by, of course, tethering to the rock, and I did not want it to snap like that, so I gotta reset the position I had it. 
of course, and I probably have to change it back to this. There we go, fleet placement, that's why. Just trying to see if I can connect it to the proper grid of the asteroid, but that wasn't the case. I'm being finicky with this because I want to make sure I got room to build this. So that'll do it there. Come out a couple of blocks. Uh, there is going to be sort of an enclosed cockpit, but it's not going to be a full, it's pressurized, I mean. So we're going to start here. We'll go one, two, probably three out on the either side. Like so. Like that. Probably come out, let's see, three, probably two, two more out. Like so. Let's see how this feels. That's not going to work. And I realized too, I should probably put a gravity generator on here. Not that it matters, I got magnetic boots. Uh, yeah, this could work. I think so. And then for the front, we're going to go like this. Come on this side here. And then I think one more like so. So let me get this filled in and I'll bring it back. Okay, so I have it rounded. And I just put some slopes in there to get more of a roundness to it. So now I hope this is a conveyor connector. Yes, it is. So what I want to do is I want to do a little something different with the, the reactors and the jump drive if I can. And I'm just wondering if this is going to work now. I might have to do this a little bit differently than I wanted. Oh, I need interior plates. We'll run over here. But basically what I'm going to do is uh, similar to what I did with the, the beacon at the... Uh, on the server there, where I'm going to have two two reactors with a jump drive in, sandwiched in between with two rings spinning around them. Now, let me think here. I want to go... Actually, I do not want to do that. I want to put a container there first. So, go ahead and put a container down. Uh, small cargo container is fine. And I actually need that. What am I doing here? Uh, I'm going to put the thrusters on afterwards. Okay, container was on 8, and then 9 for the connectors, and let me think here, whoa, that almost hurt, <laughs> so it wouldn't be the first time I've killed myself doing that, okay, a misplaced block can be fatal, it's gone, we won't be getting that in interior plate back, okay, so, I'm thinking, Maybe we'll go back in one. We want it big, not too big. I'll go in one more. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and put a rotor here. Like so. And then... I don't know if this is going to work because I was having issues. I might have to put a connector at the... Uh, a storage at the end. So that does remind me of what a storage here. And then another rotor. That's not a rotor. That's the rotor. Like so. And then we're going to put the reactor. And the only thing I'm wondering about is the jump drive. Uh, let's, what color should we make this? Let's make this red. Of course, it's going to be red. Oh. Like so. Now the jump drive. Does this actually have any ports or anything like that? If not, I might have to work something out. Let's see what this actually looks like. Hmm. Will it actually snap there? That's the question I have. It will. Okay. So I'm gonna have to get use uh, use the ring, make the ring out of conveyors then. That's fine. That's fine. So we're going to have another reactor there. I just got to make sure that both reactors are connected. Actually, ooh. Ooh, I have an idea. Let me let me do something here. Get this filled in and I'll show you something cool. Okay, here's what I got. So I went ahead and had to put a battery on here because for some reason uh, 
the containers weren't seeing each, each other because the rotor was didn't have any power. So it does have power now, or at least it did, until the jump drive decided to suck all the power out of the battery. So I t shut that off for now. So this is what I've got so far. So I'm going to be using this sort of setup to connect the two reactors together because I want to get a couple of rings sort of spinning around this thing. And uh, sort of like what I was doing before, like I said, in the... The whatchamacallit there, the... On the server, yes. And... i probably keep the rings white, I think. So we'll go ahead and change that back to white. Go on to the full block. And I think... I'm going to go with the slopes on this. So we're going to go like that. I'm going to rotate like that, go like that. And... Like so. Is this actually going to fit around? I think it will. Perfect. Okay, like so. And then we're going to go back to the square block. Uh, not really a circle, more of a an oval around it. And then there's going to be another one go around it that's going to be a little bigger. Originally, my plan was to have a rotor at both ends. Well, actually, my original plan was to have one ring going this way and the other ring going the other way, sort of like, a, like the... The Orbitron rides, the, the big giant gyros, but I started thinking about it, and you know, it's gonna be pretty big, and you know, I want to at least have this thing flyable. So I'm just gonna go with this, and that way it's not gonna take up too much room on deck, so we can at least walk by into the back of the ship. So that's gonna be like that, and then this one here, make sure I'm on the right block, we're gonna have to go out five, like so. Oh, hit the right buttons here. And then we'll go back to this slope, and I think you get the idea. There we go. Like so, and like that, and rinse and repeat. If the keys would keep stay in the right position. So I'm going to go ahead and get this finished up, and I will bring you back when this is done. Okay, so here's what I got. I had to make a few changes here. Uh, I don't know if it was... Just the fact that I didn't have power, I actually have to move the container over here. Uh, yeah, I'll deal with that in a sec. Uh, originally, I had the conveyor con connectors going up to here, or conveyor junctions up to the rotor and then all that stuff. And then I get all this put in here, and I realized I forgot the, the outer ring. I just had this ring and that ring. Uh, these two rings are supposed to turn. This is actually the fixed part of the ship. And so what's going to happen is this ring is going to go this way. This ring is going to go this way. And if I time it right, that's going to stay perfectly still. I did put some lights in here to get a bit of an effect going. Uh, might change the color of them. I don't know. We'll keep it white as it goes. Uh, I've been trying to figure out what I want to do with like the, f the actual floor itself. Uh, what, what else? Let me, uh, there we go. So what I'm thinking about doing, that's actually, jetpack is actually a good idea. So we'll go across here. I'm sorry, I was doing weird things in the jetpack mode there. Yeah, anyways. Uh, so what I'm thinking about doing is just going across here like so. I, I got some time. I'm, my battery's not going to die just yet. But basically going to go like this. And try to get like sort of like a wing pattern. I was originally trying to think about having glass going around. But I don't know if that's going to really work out too well. One, I don't know if I have enough glass with me. And two, uh, all depends on the floor plan. Uh, this is going to be a little on the wide side. Uh, that is for sure. I want to sort of get a flare out a little bit. So I might do something like this. I'm sorry, I get, get so confused with this relative controls. Like if I hit... If I want to hit backwards because I'm not technically looking down, my whole body's facing down. If I go backwards, I'm actually going upwards. So it gets uh, a little confusing sometimes. Anyway, so, so like that. And then, uh, let's see here. Yeah, I'll probably keep going with the, the two block pattern. One, two, and then another one. And let's. Uh, let's have a quick look at this. I 
I think what I'll do is I'll move the singles back a few more and then go into the two. And then I'll get to the end and cap it off. And then sort of work it around the back. But I gotta charge up and get some stuff laid out and I'll bring you back when I got sort of like a, a bit of a layout laid, uh, laid out. Whoa. That almost hurt. Alright, so here's what I got. Uh, as you can tell by the sound, I had to get it assembled up and running. Uh, because I got that thing up and running, I had to get those things up and running, which is why they're green. Uh, so what I've done, first of all, is I actually close the area off with glass. Uh, these rings are going to be moving, so it's for my own personal safety, just so uh, it doesn't hit me or I don't walk into it. But we can still f fill it up. I just got to put fuel in here. And uh, as you can see, this is the actual container. This Take, uh, this connects to that, it connects to that, connects to that, connects to that, connects to that, and it goes into the reactors. Now, one thing I didn't notice before is there's only actually four ports on here. I was trying to figure out why these conveyors were yellow and these ones were green, and I was thinking, well, are they just not connected? But what I didn't realize is you can't, you can sort of see it, but there, there is no actual conveyor port like down here, the square ones. That's just a cosmetic thing. But I put it here just for symmetry, for looks. Uh, but as far as the layout goes, this is what I have. I try to get a couple of glass areas, uh, one up at the front here, and then two on the sides there. Uh, the cockpit itself, let me get down to the ground. As soon as my boots will get turn off, and let me, there you go. So the cockpit up is going to be up here, and the same thing, I'm going to have glass one around. And like so, I need girders. So I think I'm making girders. Am I not? No, I'm not. Thought it was. I guess it was out. But yeah. So basically, you're gonna have window off here. Uh, probably close it off right here, and have the door here. But what I want to do over here, and this is that's not the key I wanted. There we go. That's my jetpack. But I want to sort of get like a, I don't know what you call it, sort of like a curvature going over the top and bottom, sort of that kind of deal. I don't know what you would call it, but uh, that's why I'm making more plates. I might have to try to find some silicon because I'm right out of glass. I got maybe 400 pieces. That's all I got. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, also, too, I got to put want to put the thrusters on here. Now I'm thinking about the ion thrusters. I might actually try to go with the four uh, on all four sides, just because. Uh, well, just because I've actually got got everything made. Uh, if I do have to run back to the moon, we're still quite pretty close. But what I'm thinking, I'm just trying to figure out how to actually want to do this. I'd like to have them hidden if I could. So we do something like that. Nah. Get the thrusters out. And I want to get these in here before I start putting uh, the cowling or the rest of the shape on here, just so I have an idea of how I'm going to place the blocks. And uh, so I, I've had to deal with that so many times. That's not the right size. There we go. So I'm thinking because we're going to have really only need two for strafing. I do want to sort of try to keep them concealed if I can. So I'd almost want to do something like this. Like that. But in this one here, I don't know if I want to bring that in one block. It might actually be worth a shot. Let's see how it looks. And I'm having one of those I should save moments, but it's okay. What could possibly go wrong? And I know I'm horribly jinxing myself when I say that. Of course, I don't have the thrust components on me. Well, not on me, on me, but they're here. So then I'll probably do something like that. So two for strafing, two for... Uh, gonna need braking, because I think this thing is getting pretty heavy as it is. I don't really know. I don't know if it's gonna read accurately, because I got, I'm got tethered to the asteroid. So I'm like that, and then... I would almost even say have the, uh, oh, hang on, I'll be right Tell you, it'd be nice if you were able to carry a portable battery pack with you to keep your suit charged. 
And so, yeah, for this, probably... No, I'd like to stay with four. I don't want to have two because just for stability purposes. Oh, come on. Hang on. I'll get it. <laughs> I'll get it eventually. Uh, these are so annoying sometimes. There we go. Got you. Well, since I went too far, I'll put you there. And then you there. Like so. And that should actually work out. Not 100% concealed, but does the job. So, what was it? No, no, no. That's in the wrong spot. But you get the idea, so let me get this all figured out, and I'll bring you, bring you back. So it seems I missed my recording button again, but needless to say, I have got the outer shell of this all finished up. So that's what I sort of did. I sort of went like a, sort of like a cowling or something over the top and bottom. I got, uh, yeah, I got some windows in the top and the bottom of this, uh, we'll call it the drive, because this technically is the jump drive. So you can see windows down there, windows up top. And that's just what I went through. Uh, I was trying to go for. I was going to try to get more glass in here. It's a good thing I didn't, because uh, I had to dig into this thing a few times more than a few times to get enough stone to process this, process into silicon so I can make the glass. And that's what I have left. Night. 55 pieces. I think I got 26, 24 or something in there. But anyways, uh, this is uh, a little bigger than I was expecting, but hey, why not, right? Uh, anyways, uh, I had to put this here because my ship completely ran out of power. Uh, it's because I got the antenna broadcasting and it's using 20 kilowatts and Needless to say, I died. I fortunately I have backup saves, and one of the one of the reasons I enjoy doing a series on a offline single player. If things go wrong, I can always revert back to a previous save, and nothing ever happened. Anyways, so for this front part here, what I'm basically gonna do is just just gonna close it off, make a, a bit of a cabin. So one, two there, one over there. And we'll go to six. Let's see if we can get that position right again. Okay, and I didn't notice it. Notice that you can actually see the tinting through the glass when it's placed. Unfortunately, the this window here, when you fill it in, when it's on the outside of the block, it's not tinted. So if you want tinting on this side, then you have to have the block on this side of the block. Well, the pane on this side of the block. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of these windows in. We'll get a little bit of a cockpit in here. Uh, like I said, it's not going to be anything too fancy. It's just going to be a place to fly the ship, more or less. And then I was going to bring it up to about here, I think. Uh, probably, that'll probably be the last window right there. I'll go to a five, like so. We'll fill this in. Oh, I need glass of course I need glass uh, which means I gotta go get, get more silicon fun 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 anyway I shall be back again okay I went and uh, dug into the rock a little bit more got some more glass I don't know if this is gonna be enough but we're gonna find out so we're gonna flip you around there we're gonna put you over there is that too far yes it was as I was going to put a block there, that's right. Okay, so now we do... That's the tint this side, so we go like that. And now we fill it in. I wasn't going to go too high with the windows, but seeing as how silicon is a bit of a pain to get right now. Well, it's not. Unfortunately, I'd be using that thing to harvest the stone, but I don't have any juice in it, and that means I have to rebuild the battery, and the whole shebang, so uh, let's go and get the block back on the bar, since I have to keep changing it out for my drill, so we're going to go with uh, this one here, and we're going to rotate it like so, uh, I'm not too worried about this actually being... Uh, airtight because I'm not pressurizing this. I need steel plates. 
Oh, good thing the assembler's right there. All right, so like that, and then we will. Uh, hmm. Sure, we'll do it like that, and like so. And I'll let me finish this off camera, and I'll be right back. Okay, so here's what I got. It's nothing special. It's just a just a small little cabin, right? Small little front end of it, front end of a really big ship. Man, even then, this isn't really big because I know I can get a lot bigger than this. Just, it's just taking a lot of time. Anyways, uh, what are we going to do here now? Uh, I'm wondering if this flight seat will actually charge me up too, just like the cockpit will. I'm going to find out. Well, let's find out. I never actually used it before. I built it once and it was just for like a progression thing. And I have enough. All right. So now, am I charging? I am. Sweet. And there we go. I am in the seat. Of course, that little nub isn't going to be at the bottom. I might. I might get some blocks on the bottom just to round it off a little bit. But other than that, all that's left to really do is uh, get some gyros on here. Um, I may want to put four on here just because of this thing in the middle. And then I'm going to add a little extension on the back. Get a couple antennas on there. And a little place to dock or even park a ship to tow along. Uh, I am going to try to take that thing with me if I can. But anyways, uh, let me do a few more things and I'll be right back. Okay, I am pretty much done. i uh, got what it is. I put eight batteries on here. I don't know if you can see them in the corner. In the shadows. Let's actually put some lights in here. I was thinking about doing this, but let's do it anyways. One there. And where did I put that? Uh, where the first battery? And one there. Uh, I was, I was going to put a second jump drive on here, but uh, I don't actually have any gold on me or nearby or anything like that. Except for back on the surface, but I'm not flying all the way back there to do it. Uh, I am aware that it's going to take about seven minutes for it, for it to charge every time. Uh, as far as jumping, I'm a bit of a noob. Never seen it, never done it. About all I really know is you just point the ship in the direction you want to go and you tell it how far you want to go. Now, here's the thing. I don't know how far away these planets are. I do know there is, uh, we'll call it uh, some BC... BC Insurance, Stupidity Insurance, also, it's also known as, and that's, uh, that either won't let you jump or it'll pull you out of jump if you're gonna, if you're, if you're gonna hit something. So in theory, I should just be able to hit, head, uh, just point towards a planet and go from there. But, let's actually turn those lights up. Let's get over here. I'm gonna, gonna leave the assembler here. Uh, I'm also gonna put a storage container on here and put so, some uranium in here, there, just so I know where it is. Okay, hit. Uh, there's all these little lights. So many lights, that's fine. Okay, radius up, intensity up. Perfect. Now it looks better, except for that shadow there. I can live with it. Alright, so now I'm just going to put a container, I'll just stick over on this side, I'm going to leave the assemblers all set up. Uh, why not? And, uh, tubes. I did put another battery on this, so this thing does have power, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to dock it to this. Uh, I do know about, like I have right in that jumping, like anything that's, any ship that's either docked with a connector or connected with the landing gear, it's taken for the ride. Uh, as far as people... I think they have to be in a seat, or they get left behind. Something like that. I can't remember. Anyways. Uh, uh, I was going to ask why things are ending up upside, ending, ending upside down. And I think it's because these windows are supposed to be up the other way around. I don't know. But anyways. Uh, yeah, let's, let's put all that away. I want to keep all that. and Just dump everything had the refinery going, the assembler, and just so much stuff. Okay, so where are we at? 2,000 kilometers. Well, from what I've read, apparently it could take like three, three uh, jumps to get to where I'm going. So before I get this going, I'm going to actually 
untether this thing. All right. Now for some stupidity insurance, because with me you never know. All right. Uh, you know what? Let's leave the nose on it. I didn't mean to fill that block in, but I did. Okay, so far so good. And now I gotta do the. I gotta convert to a station or a ship. There we go. That is so messed. Uh, I gotta turn all my thrusters on because I turned them off because I was worried about burning myself. I'm actually going to hot group them at the same time. Okay. Ion. Save and on. Let's get out of here so I can actually see what I'm doing. And here I was worried four was going to be too many. It's a big shit. We'll see a backup camera to make sure there's no asteroids behind me because you never know. Okay, I'm going to let this stop. Almost should add more, but I think we're good. So now let's go get the, go get the red ship and put it on. Sometimes I wonder if I'm going to stop in time. All right, and I should have hydrogen, so let's get out. And then we'll back up. Actually, that's not back up. I've never flown a ship backwards before. And I don't intend to. Okay. I'll probably charge the batteries while I'm on here. So, I'm going to just assume that's Mars. It's the only thing, other thing I could think of, because that's where we're going to head to. I'm going to do a save before I jump, but I'm just going to do 2,000 kilometers in that direction and see what happens. That's how we learn the hard way. It's like me trying to land these things. I'm almost thinking about taking one of the gyros off of this. Okay, let's not do that. I don't want to be actually attached to it. I want to be docked to it. Do you get the idea? I'll back... All right, there we go. Now it's actually charging the batteries automatically, so that's pretty cool. So now for this thing. I know we're getting a little long in this video, but uh, some people want the longer videos. Anyway, so I want to be somewhere where I can actually see these rings when I access, access this terminal. And that should be good. Okay. So first we're going to start with... Uh, okay, I know which one this one is. This is going to be... I'm going to name this... Uh, outer rotor because that's this is the one that's actually attached to this station here okay and then I'm gonna guess that this is gonna be the next one no it's not okay oh that's uh just the breaking uh, breaking force of these just so it doesn't move when we don't want to. Uh, let me actually get this set up off camera. Okay, and make a slight modification. Uh, thank God for saves. Uh, the outer ring actually hit the, the glass. So, no, why don't you not let me through it? There we go. And touchdown. All right, now I gotta reconfigure everything. Okay, so this is actually quite interesting. Uh, what's going on? The ring's actually stopping here. And it turns out that there's actually an invisible hitbox. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take these windows off. And I'm going to put a, another ring around on the top facing down and have these sides snap to that. So they're technically above the block. So let me take care of that and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, here we are. Uh, it is about eight hours since I started recording this video. I did take a little bit of a break, but not a whole lot. Uh, so it turns out my problem was there was actually an extra row of blocks down there, but I have the panes on the outside now. So hopefully it works. And we'll see what happens. I might 
I'm going to try to get the reactor sit in the same spot if I can. Okay, what's going on here? Oh, it's this side too. I'm a dummy, of course, because it's mirrored on the bottom. So that was the problem the whole time, of course. Uh, okay, get this out. I don't think I have enough glass. I've been sacrificing it from everywhere. You had to take some out of the cockpit, but whatever. Don't kill me. Just go over here. Don't trust it. Even though the brake is on. Once bitten, twice shy, I guess. Good enough. I will have to patch that up later. Once I get some more stones, so we can make some more glass. Alright, let's try it now. Perfect. Not quite perfect. Uh, I want to see if we get the speed up a little bit on those. Okay, so I'm going to shut them off. Let me do this off camera and I'll see if I can even... I actually like the reactor where it is. So hold on. You know, I was going to speed it up a little bit. But I think this actually works. Uh, I know the game can't... Most games can't handle things going too fast at many different types of directions like this, but... It works. Anyways, uh, let us jump, shall we? Okay, now I do know about having to actually put it on my hot bar. So that is where we are heading. Alright, up we go. Very slowly. Can't say much though, like what's the weight on this? I think I'm too heavy to jump. I remember something about one and a quarter million kilos. We're gonna find out. And just wait for myself to slow down. Definitely need some more thrusters. But it works. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna Go to the control panel, go to the, where is it, the jump drive. I'm sure I'm doing this wrong. Oh, there we go. It tells me 1786. Okay, we're going to do a blind jump. Okay. And then I just put that into the hot bar. And let's see here. Uh, jump. Okay, here we go. Hundred and thirty three meters? What? Is there something actually in front of me? Or is it because the asteroid is too close? I do not know. Okay, we'll try that. Is it because I got the ship on there? What? Is it because it's on a different grid? No. Because my ship's only 137. Uh, let me pull away and I'll see if I can get it to work. Alright, let's give this another shot then, I guess. I'm still saying 133 meters. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I haven't ha been having the best of luck. I'm going to try one thing here, and then I'm just going to end the episode, and then maybe one of you have an idea what's going on. Here's usually what's going on. All I can think of is maybe it's got something to do with this. Uh, the other thing it could be is the jump drive is on there, but the distance, it's saying the distance of 133 meters when I know I've got about 110 meters here, so I don't know what that's all about. 
But let's find out. Let's just take this thing off. It's got an antenna so I can find it eventually. I did make a save, so I don't really care. I just want to see if this is actually going to work. Okay, let me get out of here. That's actually a cool looking shit. I like it. Too bad it hasn't jumped, though. Okay, let's try this. Okay, so I had something to do with my ship being on there. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go grab all my stuff. All right, all right, I decided to park the red ship back at that asteroid there. Uh, I was going to take it apart and take it with us, but then I realized, well, that's the point. I got enough stuff on me, I can actually make another flyer if I need to. But look how big this thing is. We're too, still two kilometers away. No wonder it took me so long to build. And look at that, the rings are still spinning. I like that. So now the question is, am I, am I going to be able to jump? And I have a feeling that 2000 or the 1700 might be a little too far. So I think we're going to switch it down to about a, like a thousand or so. All right, let's uh, open up the old jump, jump drive here. And uh, see now the, the distance goes up and I guess maybe we were a little too far on it. Let's try that. And now you gave me this problem again. Why? Oh. It is because of what I'm carrying. I gotta lose about four tons, I think. Let's see here. Wait, what was that at? Let me check the miles here. Info. Yeah, I gotta lose like <laughs> 20 tons. Ah, uh, power cells. How oh, I love you. As it drifts away into the, the cold dark. Yeah. Oh, that's not what I'm looking for. Uh, info. Still that much. Okay, now is it reading the same? It isn't. Yeah, I don't get this jump drive at all. Now it's not working. Do I actually have to be traveling? Maybe. No clue. Yeah, it just came up after I undocked the ship. And I cleared everything out of the ship and now it doesn't want to work anymore. Hmm. Well, well, I can't figure out what's going on here. It's getting late in this episode. It's a long episode. It's been... I wanted this up eight hours ago, but that didn't happen. Uh, if anybody has any suggestions, please let me know. Because uh, I was all excited to get this thing up and flying, and now I can't go anywhere with it. But anyways, uh, I'm going to call this one here. I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like. I'll see you in the next one. Later.